Okay, so we handled the, the login part. Now, what if the user forgets the password, right? So we have to handle that too. So for that, uh, we have this button that forgot password, then user can click on reset. So in here, we have to create a forgot password page. So, and we have to put this design in it. So let's go to our code and create a new page. That will be forgot password, right? So forgot password. And then I'll have to create the index dot uh, j6 file. Okay. So um, let's name it forgot password, right? Okay, then. Now, uh, what we have to do, we can go to the uh, sign in page and we can copy these classes. Okay. And we can paste it here. Let's add the closing tags. Okay, let's see. Let's load. Yeah, so we have the, okay, so we have the background and everything. Now we have to design this part. So I'll just copy, copy one from the uh, sign-in page. So sign-in page, we have the form. So I'll copy the form first, right. then let's import it. And it will need a closing tag. So form, then uh, I'll also copy the email. So this one, right. it should be inside the form. So let's put it there. We have to import the input field and the icon okay i think we're good uh, also i'll i'll get the button this one okay and it should be uh what does the u design say get otp right okay get OTP. okay Let's see. All right. Uh, okay, we have we'll need the handle login function. So instead of handle login, let's just uh, comment out this unfinished fail function because we are already handling the API fail in the uh with our with our API response. So Instead of handle login, I'll just name it handle for dot pass, right? Okay. Handle for dot pass, and we'll take values. Let's console log the values first. So, okay. Now let's check. All right. Okay, so we have the email. I think we have to copy this text too. So uh, let's just copy it from the sign-in page. Here. And let's paste it here. Okay, and it should say forward password. Right. And then it should say this text. I'll copy that. Okay, maybe I didn't copy it. Okay, now let's see. All right, we're good. So I have to put the email and then we are good. Right? Okay, so let's see. Okay, uh, all right, now we have to handle the API. So let's see if we get the value, right, the email. Let's open our console. Okay, all right, so we get the email. Now we handle have to handle the API. So let's go to Swagger. 
right by the time it loads uh we can we can get the exios from here all right and i'll just import exios okay let's see so it should be forgot password right this one f o r g o t password okay and it takes email as a uh payload so instead of payload here i can just pass the email and values dot email okay so now we have to handle the response so then the response response dot data and then it should be catch error error for response okay let's use the tanner reporter just in case okay oh you have to uh, update the api endpoint so it should be forgot password here forgot password okay let's try yeah so inspect all right uh, we have an error that says user not found with this email so we have to use an actual email so let's go to temp mail so uh yeah i have to sign up first so let's go to the sign in page sign up page okay so we'll get this one oh let's let's actually try with this email let's see if we have already registered this email i don't think so but let's try yeah so we already already did so it says that uh, is OTP sent true and it is sent to this email, right? So now what we can do is we can take this one, you know, and we will do if response dot data dot OTP sent equals to, oh, I can just say OTP sent for this Boolean value. Then we can just say toast dot success uh, and uh, or reset OTP was sent to your email it will expire in five minutes All right and then we have to uh we have to use the router, so let's take const router equals to use router, and then we have to push router dot push, right? And then we'll take a template screen and we'll push the user to reset password page, right? So that page would be this one. Uh, so not that one. Yeah, this one. So let's go back. Reset password, and I will add the email. Email as a query parameter because uh, if I go to the reset password page and just like verification, if I reload, the email will be gone. So that's why I am passing it as a query parameter. So in this case, the email should be values dot email, right? Okay, let's see. So if we put the email again, sorry, or this one, this email. Yeah, an OTP was sent to email and we are navigated or redirected back to the reset password page. Okay, that is great. And let's see if we get the email, yeah. So with the email, we got the email with the reset password, OTP, 
now we can handle the reset password in our in this page the reset password page 